What is going on everyone? It's Colin here and today we're going to be talking about the three basic uh, CompTIA certifications. So today we're going to be covering the A+, the Network+, and the Security+, Plus certifications because I've been getting a lot of questions recently from you all about do I need to take these certifications in order. Um, for example, one, one person asked me if they need to take the Network+, Plus to get the Security+. Plus. And, and I've heard this many other times, with, do I need the A plus to get the network plus? So I figured I would just create this video because it'll be very helpful. Uh, it'll talk through all of these questions I'm getting and uh, just inform you all about the three core certifications that you can acquire to, to get your foot in the door for these positions, learn the basics, and then move up to, to the more advanced certifications. So first, let's get right into the A+. Uh, the A+, covers the PC and laptop hardware, software installation, configuration of computer and mobile operating systems, basic security skills, and basic networking, and much more. These are some of the, the basic topics that will be covered in this exam. And it is really meant for uh, people who are seeking to work as a help desk or a support service center network technician, for example. So this is a great uh, springboard considered by many for the Network Plus and Security Plus, but it is not necessary. Um, at, from CompTIA, they really they recommend that you start out with this exam, but if you feel that you have learned these skills uh, through other means, through your education, through work experience, I wouldn't uh, recommend doing this exam because it may uh, be a waste of your time and repeat some of the information. So, it, so to summarize this exam, if, you, if you're really coming into this, if you're doing a career change, if you're a younger uh, student and you really don't know much about the IT field yet, uh, I would recommend taking this. Otherwise, I would recommend spending your time on the next two exams that I'll be talking about. So if you have more experience and you don't feel the need to take the A+, but you uh, are not exactly as sure about your networking skills or abilities, I would recommend taking the Network+. Plus. Now the Network+, Plus, um, this is something that is more of a, it gives you a broad feeling of uh, all the networking fundamentals. It introduces some network security material, and uh, it gives you a great uh, background in networking if you're looking to get more uh, into the field, get more advanced from that point. So CompTIA recommends that for this certification you have at least nine months of experience and don't let this scare you. This is completely up to you because the exam materials, I'm going to be linking some materials in the description that are very helpful, but these exam materials will have everything in it. So it really depends if you, the student, are able to um, if you're able to read through all this material and retain this information for the exam, if you go at this with a methodical approach and you're consistently taking uh, parts of the exam and uh, questions per day, uh, I believe that you can go into this with no networking skill and come out with the certification. So don't let these don't let these uh, imposed or these recommended um, experience levels from CompTIA scare you away from these exams. It, just look at it as more of a challenge and you really have to accept that challenge to study hard and get this exam. So some of the stuff that they're going to be talking about on the Network Plus are uh, network technologies, network media, uh, network topologies, basic security in the network, installation and configuration of network equipment. This is just some, some basic um, topics that I'm just going to give you just so uh, if, if, if you just are familiar with a lot of the things I just said, maybe you might consider just moving on to the Security Plus. So the last of the three exams that CompTIA puts in their basic level of uh, core certifications is a Security Plus. Now, I chose to actually skip the A Plus and the Network Plus because I took the Security Plus after two years of my schooling and at, during my first cybersecurity internship. So I felt that I had a good hold on all of the topics covered in the two previous exams that I had just talked about and those topics that I was just telling you about. So the Security Plus covers network security concepts, threats of vulnerabilities, access controls, identity management, cryptography, and much more. And something very interesting about this exam is it, it really, and this, this may be a challenge to some people and it may be um, helpful to some people because it really, everyone's different and their, their understandings of different concepts are all over the board. But this exam covers a, a very, very, very broad uh, cover of all the topics involved in cybersecurity. So after this exam, you're going to have a really strong foundation. I've talked about this in my other videos. I have um, another video that I'm going to put um, on this video about how I personally passed the Security Plus exam. 
but this is just going to give you a great foundation but you will by no means become an expert in cybersecurity just from this exam it it um it it goes over a very high level of all these topics but you're not really digging deep into the topics until you get to the next exams. I'm going to be actually doing another video about the, the higher or more intermediate tier exams like the CYSA Plus and the Pentest Plus. And then eventually you get on to, uh, they lead you to, towards more advanced careers and more advanced certifications. So like I said, these core, these core certifications really help you build the foundation for the future. But so for this exam, CompTIA recommends that you have two years of IT security experience and that you've also taken the Network Plus. Like I said before, with the Network Plus um, recommendation from CompTIA, don't let this scare you. I did this without doing the other two exams and I did it in a very short time frame. So it, it's really up to you as the student to, to get this information and in, in study through the books, work through it, and retain this information for the exam time. So... If, if you've seen any of these um, recommendations from CompTIA, this is my main, my main point with this video was to prove that do not be scared away by these recommendations. It, it just look at them as a challenge, and if you're willing to accept this challenge, you can uh, bypass these, the other certifications and go straight towards the Network Plus, straight towards the Security Plus, depending on where you're at. So, it, I mean, if you use a good, diverse set of study materials, which I'm going to be linking what I use below, but if you use a good set of diverse study materials, you retain all the information in the, those materials, you will be fine for, for these exams and you will be, will be able to pass the, um, or to skip the prerequisites like I was saying before. Because um, these exams, uh, if you're reading everything out of the book, you will be able to understand it. So thanks for checking out this video today on the three core cybersecurity, or the core CompTIA uh, certifications. And look forward to some more videos from me about the CYSA Plus and the, the Pen Test Plus. And then maybe as I after I uh, pass the CYSA Plus, I'm going to be talking about some of the more advanced certifications that I'll be going on from that point. Also, I'm going to be talking, I'm going to be putting out some videos uh, pretty soon about how I take notes per chapter. And uh, I think that this is a good one to, that really will help a lot of people. So if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Please like this video if you liked it and leave me a comment on some of the study material that you used to pass these exams. Thanks.